or or not there are some basic things that run through we all ought to take care of ourselves so how well is your kidney functioning are there things you are worried about that you haven't had anybody tell you about this afternoon on the diary on love nights and up and five that is our conversation i want us to talk about the kidney now i have a gentleman with me he's not new to the diary and i thank god for his life all the time now he has both kidneys failed they're not working his kidneys are not working now when i knew this man he was let's say six times my size now, i don't know whether you if, if you're listening to me i don't know whether you know me but if you don't know me just go on to facebook live <laughs> we're streaming live on facebook right now mm -hmm. so you get to see me i mean i'm sitting by and he was like five times my size but as i speak to you right now i'm bigger than him very not very <laughs> just bigger than him and he will tell you that each and every day when he wakes up, he asks himself, is today going to be my last day? How can you live like, life like that? I mean, you wake up in the morning and then you say to yourself, Charlie, how is the day going to go like? Well, I live to see tomorrow. For me, that alone will kill me. But he's brave and he has been able to be alive and we are here with him in the cities of love, nice and up and five. Good afternoon to you, uh, Ms. Aiba. Good afternoon, Mr. Dave. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Well, His Grace is keeping me, and I'm glad and thankful to him. Same so how long have you had uh, the kidney problem, just for the record, for the I conversation? Think it's two and a half years now. For two and a half years. You're hitting yes. on to three. Getting to three. And still looking good. And I kid you, I kid you not, you're looking good. Thank you. By His Grace. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Now, like I said, he, he was like four or five <laughs> times my size. <laughs> Now I'm bigger than him. That is what a kidney failure or kidney problem can do to you. Also with us in the Studios of Love, 19.5, is Dr. Elliot Cranting. Dr. Tano. Oh, Charlie. It happens. <laughs> Doc, good afternoon to you. Afternoon, Dave. And how are you? Well, you know how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Should I tell them? No, don't tell anybody. That. It's between you and I. But good to see you again. Good to see you too. And Dave. how's my girlfriend, Abna Tano, doing? How is my wife Abnata not doing? She's very well. <laughs> well, and I know that my girlfriend Abnata not is fine. So let me come back to you, Aiba. And, and like I said, we're streaming live on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that oftentimes you guys might be busy around this time. But listen, for the benefit of for you to understand and appreciate what we're talking about in terms of the kidney, I'm saying that I have uh, a, a kidney patient with us. His name is Aiba. And um, he's, uh, he has both kidneys shut down. They're not working. But by the grace of the Lord God Almighty, he has um, survived two and a half years of, of this kidney problem. And he will tell you that each and every day, at the back of his mind, he keeps asking himself, is today going to be my last day? Now, imagine this. I mean, there are times when you're in a car, and then let's say it's raining, and maybe you've taken in too much water, and you, you need to pass water. I mean, you need to pass urine. And then it's raining out there, there's no way for you to stop, and you really need to go you know how the feeling that the edge is like yeah. that is a feeling like for people who have kidney problems you really want to go but the thing is not coming out jesus christ i wouldn't want this to happen to anybody not even my worst enemy but I, i'm told that you've decided to do something you have decided to spend your time informing and educating people about the kidney yeah am i right yes please why what 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 what, what has made you to do this um thank you for the opportunity and good afternoon to your listeners why I decided to, da to do this with Dr. Elliot is um, I got to know that um, I was living perfectly, if I have to say that. Because mm. I was very cautious with what I eat, what I drink, how I live my life. Mm. And many of the people outside there are also into this. So I felt if I come out and I'm able to advocate mm. for people to know how I lived my life and how I got the kidney disease, it will help them to compare mm. and see how best they can also live a better life after mine. So what I will say or I'll begin with is one, I wasn't drinking, I wasn't smoking. When you say drinking, you're not taking alcohol. Alcohol. And you know, for people who take alcohol, their chances of having kidney problems is quite high. Very high. Okay. And I wasn't into any of this li the night lives like disco, <laughs> um, parading everywhere and 
whatever. I wasn't humanization. I wasn't humanizing. Mm. And all these things, normally after work, I go to the house, be with my wife, and then I pass my night, and then the following day, hope God will let me see that day. So all these things I wasn't doing. So when I was told I had BP, which was blood pressure, I was taking my drugs all right, not knowing that it wasn't suppressing the BP within me. So normally when I go to the hospital, they tell me they have to keep me here, there's no bed. And then they'll be injecting me with this, um, what's the name, lasers. Yeah, and then I'll go home, sleep the next day and come to work. Mm. And all these things went on until I realized that there was something not working in my system. Mm. And I had to go for a medical checkup, laboratory test. And from there, I had to share my, my, my labs to doctors who I knew. Mm. And they said I was having a problem because my creatinine was high. And they have to refer me to Confanoche. Mm. And from there, that is where I've landed, having CKD, chronic kidney disease. Now, so when you step out there, you want to give the education. Where and where do you go? Who do you engage with? Um, it's open to everybody. Whether you are on BP or on diabetes, whatever it is, you have BP or diabetes. These are the two things that causes kidney disease. BP, BP and, diabetes. and diabetes. And there are a lot of people who have a very bad BP out there. But as to whether they, 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 they know that the fact that their BP is bad, they, they have pressure, it's bad, and it could lead to kidney problems, is another thing. And uh, when you go out there and you advocate, how do they take it? They take it seriously because sometimes I tell them that this is not my weight. Yeah, like I was saying, when we're still streaming live on Facebook. Yeah. And the man I'm talking to right now is somebody who has uh, who's battling uh, with kidney. His his kidneys, both kidneys have shut down. And when I knew him, he was four or five times my weight. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I am bigger than him. Yeah. And it's all because of the kidney problems he has. So you, you just watch his live on Facebook and you get to understand and appreciate what we're talking about. So, so when you say they take it serious, what do you mean by they take it serious? They, they, they approach me, they hold me or ask me this simple question. Mm. So how big were you? I said, I'll show you on my phone. I have my, my old pictures here. Mm. If I show you one and then it's, it gets on Facebook, they'll get to know what I'm talking about. All right, so Alex, let's get one and put it on Facebook. Do you mind? I don't have a problem. All right, so Alex, let's, let's, get a a let's get a picture of him. As to how big he was, how, how, how healthy he was <laughs> at the time, and what the kidney failure is doing to him right now for people to appreciate what we're talking about. So like you were saying, they take it serious. Yeah. Now, when they ask about your weight then and now, when they see the difference, what do they say to you? They say, serious. They say serious? Yeah. Now, have you taken time to visit places where, like the pub, where people are drinking alcohol on a Saturday, a Sunday, or maybe after work? Because alcohol is also crazy. It's, it's also, it also eats the kidney up, yeah. destroys it. Have you been to the pubs before? For now, no. <laughs> go there. Maybe I'll go with you. Yeah, I, I need someone to accompany me to I'll get with you. Maybe my doctor have to accompany me there. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the issue is, it's not a matter of what you eat mm. or how you live your lifestyle. Mm. But being conscious of the fact that the disease is, uh, is there yeah. and you must stay away from it. You mean, but how do you stay away from it? I'll throw that one to doctor to, 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 to help us with responses, yeah. responses on, on that very one. But how is life like for you? Now, you're somebody who, when you didn't have this problem, I'm sure, will drink any amount of water you want. I took about four bottles of the 1.5 volt. That, that is a big bottle. Yes. Four bottles of four it a day. a day. Now, how many bottles of it do you take? Today, I take only 500 ml a day, including my drugs. 500 ml is what? 500 ml of maybe the smallest, bo the smallest, the bottle. smallest bottle of not even the medium bottle. No, no, no. So you move from four, uh, four, five bottles. Yes. To one small bottle. Yeah, for a 500 day. ml, or maybe a sachet water, for a whole day. For the whole day. So when you feel thirsty, what do you do? Normally, I freeze my water, so I I zip it small. small. You just, you just, let's say, sip on it. Uh, yes. Or, or just lick the the lick ice. The, the ice. The frozen water. Yeah. If I want to take my medication, then I have to let it defreeze a little so and take it. So, if you're listening to us, then you're taking life for granted. <laughs> you close from work, you drink, you smoke, you do all the crazy things. In a bit, we'll put a picture of him when he was healthy, when everything was fine. We, uh, he, he's going to just, just, just going to give us a picture of it. And then we do, you do the, the comparative analysis yourself. I mean, you get <laughs> to see how he's looking now. And he says that he has this problem not because he took alcohol 
or did any of the things that some people are doing. God is God is amazing. Oh. People are do, abusing the body. They, they don't even have even kidney problems, man. But so, God is amazing. Trust me, he is. But I come, so get a picture. So I'll come back to you shortly. Okay. Are you back? But but doc, do you think that as Ghanaians we really know about the kidney problems? We're giving much importance and seriousness to it. Mm. Yeah, uh, thank you, I David, and I would greet uh, your listeners. Mm. Um, so, I good afternoon, to listeners. listeners. Mm. Um, I'm not sure, and that is why I come with haste when I get an opportunity to educate people. Mm. And most people who know me, if it's Facebook, churches, mosque, any avenue. You, you, that know, I you also haven't been to the, the mosque and the churches, the people are there, but they, they are trying to live a righteous life. Let's go to the pubs. We will go to the pubs. Now Let's that we are going to lead us. I don't know about leading. I don't know about leading. I know about accompanying you there. Yeah, so we are open to anywhere that there, uh, there are people who are ready to listen to us because mm. kidney disease is less talked about. Yeah. I keep saying that generally people will talk about, even in the health fraternity, mm. diabetes, mm. hypertension, mm. that is all they know. Mm. But if you talk about kidney disease, people don't know about it. My average patient who is referred to me Chances are that even the relatives who've brought the patient, they'll ask you, Doc, ah, what is this kidney issue? And doctor is saying that, oh, my kidneys are not working. Is it the two or is it one? You are actually hearing questions that would let you know that most people have no idea mm. about this condition. Mm. But most of the times, if your diabetes will kill you, if your hypertension will kill, kill you, eventually it's through kidney disease. So that is why you need to know about it. And I'm very happy uh, Ayaba is talking about the fact that he did not do anything yeah but the point is that you don't need to have all the risk factors or all the problems to develop kidney disease so it therefore means that it's not preventable it is largely preventable largely so, largely well, here he is yes not so, doing any of the crazy things good so the point i'm trying to make is that mm. yes he did well mm. by not doing the crazy things because mm. what, what i can say is that if he did the crazy things we'll probably not be having this discussion so for you understand know, what i'm saying for you know he, he would have done the crazy things and he would have been fine i mean he would have been better no the he, problem he, he, i'm not saying i'm not saying automatically he, yeah he, i mean I'm, what i'm trying to say is anything could have happened good because I'm not, sure. i know people who are abusing alcohol yeah and they're fine. They've been abusing alcohol since age 18 or 19. Good. So they're over 50 years, they're still fine. Good. Now, the issue is that he had hypertension. Mm. Now, well, Doc, I know you know this. I'm yes. sorry to be cutting in intermittently, but yeah. you know of people who are hypertensive and yet are drinking alcohol. Yes. Yet, yet their kidneys are fine. Now, the point is to what extent? Now, the one thing about kidney, now you are looking at them in their face mm. and you are saying their kidneys are fine. Mm. Mind you, when I ever started, he said he was fine. Mm. So now you are seeing them still drink. They've not checked their kidneys. So in your assumption, mm. they are fine. And that is the tricky part about kidney disease. What destroys a kidney? So, like we've said, hypertension destroys the kidneys. Mm. Diabetes destroys the kidneys. Infections destroy the kidneys. Okay. When I say infections, oh, yes. I mean chronic infections. So take HIV, for instance. It destroys the kidneys. Mm. Hepatitis. Most people know hepatitis to be something that affects the liver. Mm. That is true, but hepatitis also affects the kidneys. So I would even say mm. infections in your tract. If you are urinating and you have infections in your urinary tract and all, as a female, it can affect your kidneys. And for, yes, if uh, you are uh, male mm. and you can't pass urine easily, mm. you are about 50 years. When you go and stand, it takes forever for the urine to come. So you end up leaving some of the urine behind over a period of time. It affects the kidneys. So how is your urine like when you go to pass water, when you want to urinate? How is it like? Does it flow freely? And are you able to empty your bladder? Are you a woman? Do you use the public you know, lavatories, the pub public toilets? Yeah, well, and I'm, I'm, for you, cry you, you're a man, so you're cool. I'm talking about the women out there. Yeah, I'm talking about the women out there. And, you know, women would use a public toilet. And when you, you use a public toilet, things happen. Yeah. Because, you know, when somebody is infected or has an infection and the water is contaminated, yeah. it gets straight into, you know, where I'm talking about, yeah. and boom, you have a problem. So, Doc again talks about the fact that if you're a man and you're about 50 years old and when you want to pass water, or urine, sorry, when you want to pass urine, you're having difficulties, the whole urine doesn't come out. Then, Charlie, you need to be wary. Yeah. But again, <laughs> can I make a little clarification? Please do. Because the question you are throwing to him, I think, and Which you one? made an assertion that <laughs> when you have kidney problem, mm. it feels like you sitting in a car and having the urge to I and cannot. Say, I, I didn't say that exactly. 
Okay. I say, imagine that, imagine, it. Sorry. I say, imagine that you have it, to pass water. I mean, it's raining. Raining. Why does it keep saying water? <laughs> you, have to, you have to pass urine yeah. and it's raining. Yeah. And so there's no way you can stop step out of your car yeah. and urinate. So you have to keep it. Good. That, that is, should go and you're not going. Yes. It is crazy. Good. So thanks for the clarification. Mm. But the point is that that is not what they feel. What they feel is the fact that you can actually go two, three days without the edge even coming to pass urine. Oh, okay. Yes. If the edge is not there, at least you're cool. But I'm good. I'm so, exempted. Good. So now, I would explain something. So now, what normally, so what you are saying mm. is that typical person who, for some reason, the urine is obstructed. Mm. The urine does not flow. That is itself a cause of a kidney problem. But what we are trying to say is that sometimes, for them, they struggle to make urine. So all through the day, probably you can pee three, four, five times. Mm. They might pee probably that frequent, but yeah. it comes in bits and mm. pieces. Mm. So when you tell them, okay, put the amount of urine that you pass over 24 hours together, it. it might not be up to that. Okay. You get it. Uh -huh. So yeah. that is the clarification I wanted to make. So okay. their, their feeling is not, there's urine there, I want to, but I can't. And the urine is toxic, isn't it? That's yeah, why it comes out with your body. So if it remains in your body, <laughs> then it's a, it's a problem. So that right, is so why they feel what they feel. Okay, and so that is why they have to go on the machine. Yeah. Now we have put his picture. And, and you know, many people would want to hide behind it. They don't want anybody to see them and blah, 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 blah. But he wants to help you and I. Mm. So as we speak, his picture is on our Facebook platform. We're streaming live. So go there. You see a picture of Ayuba some years ago. How many years ago? This was about so. So five years ago. Four or five years ago. ago. Alright, so the picture is there on our Facebook page right now. We're streaming live. And so get to see him. How he looked like some four years or five years ago. And then as we are talking live in the studios of Love 19.5, you can do the comparison. Now he has a he had a, a, a cap on and so he's decided to take the cap <laughs> off. So you can see him then and now. So you take this conversation more seriously than you know uh, uh, than not. But again, you mentioned a lot of infections, mm. the HIV, mm. the blah, blah, blah. Mm. But children also get kidney problems. True. They do not. They, In fact, as I speak to you now, right on the ward, I have this 16 year old boy mm. whose kidneys are all like gone. Mm. And I'm afraid parents cannot afford and we don't know what is going to happen. What is the parents going to afford? You're talking about dialysis. Dialysis, yes. And the medications that come and along with it. And the medications that come along with it. We'll talk about the treatment yeah. in a bit. Yeah. So you were saying that largely it is preventable. Largely. How? But. Why I use the word largely is that there are some situations that you and I mm. are probably not able to know what exactly happened. Mm. So in most situations or in most jurisdictions, they are able to follow up people. They go for regular checks. So if something is going amiss, mm. they're able to see it and correct. Mm. In our situation, most people, like you said, assume we are fine. Mm. And the one thing about the kidney is that it would serve you so well until probably 90% of his functions are gone. Or even more than 90%. Or more than 90%. Mm. And you so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So when it gets to the dying minutes in terms of 10%, and I always use this um, mobile phone thing. It's just like a mobile phone. When mm. your mobile phone is charged in the morning, 100% until probably gets to that 10%, it doesn't tell you anything unless you decide to look on your phone to see where I am. And the looking and means going to check your kidneys. Going to check your kidneys. Mm. So when you get to know or you don't want to, then indeed, as of it gets to the 10%, mm. then they'll tell you that low battery or mm. you need to charge. Mm. And that you need to charge is where people are referred to as well then it is so late you know, that pow. can be done. <laughs> when did you have any kidney problem? China, Papa no more for and I like the smile he has. I mean, so let's, let's just go on to our Facebook player page. That is LUV 99.5. We're streaming live. Get to see him. When he didn't have any kidney problem. Mm. And then what the kidney has done to him now. Now, I'm sure he didn't have any regrets because for him, it wasn't like he had any bad lifestyle. Like he was drinking alcohol. Then he was a Charlie. I wish I hadn't taken alcohol and all that. For him, he was particular about all everything. Unfortunately, if things were happening, they would happen. Mm. And that's his situation. And so he's using his own life experience his life story to educate you and i let's be mindful of the things we do to ourselves so if i want to have a very healthy kidney mm. what do i do and i mean I, I i i slow down or pause because he mentioned the things yeah he drank enough water yeah and that's what the kidney wants true he ate an, enough foods yeah. so that the kidney wants yeah vegetables, vegetables the kidney wants true and yet his yeah, kidney has rejected all these yeah and David, that, that's what is very sad about the kidney. Can mm. I come here before you? Please. I was going to the hospital for this monthly review on BP. Mm. 
So I was complaining, my BP, I wasn't feeling fine. They said, okay, let me increase the dosage. Mm -hmm. That's what the doctor told me. Mm. And then later he said, if, if you have any problem, let me know. So I was just chatting with him on these things. And then later I realized I had to go and do my labs because they weren't allowing me doing laboratory tests. Mm. So I opted to do the labs and then the scans. Mm. And I took it to the doctor. So that is where I pushed Dr. Elliot to go to all the peripheral hospitals mm. around Konfanochi because people may be having this same issue mm. with me. Because you might go, they will tell you, okay, your BP is still high. Let me increase the dosage. But you know what the problem is? <laughs> we, are very, we are very good doctors in, 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 in Ghana. I know. But of, unfortunately, we have some very bad doctors as well. I, know. I met a man yesterday when I was picking uh, one of my kids from school. Yeah. And his daughter had had a fractured arm. Took the doctor to a facility around here, Love, uh, Love FM. And the nurse just looked at uh, the child and said, oh, there's no problem, go. And when the father insisted, the nurse. Oh, yes, no, the doctor. The doctor. Mm. And when the do father insisted, what the, uh, the doctor uh, the doctor said was that use a sling to hold the arm for a while. They went back home. Two days later, the hand got swollen. Came back to the hospital. Same doctor was met. Said some very funny, annoying thing, uh, uh, you know, very annoying <laughs> thing to the father. They went for X-ray. The the doctor checked the thing again and said there was no problem. There was no broken bone. He left and a, a, a younger doctor, you call it people who do the houseman yeah, and something. House, something. Yeah. Yeah. And then one young girl came, I'm told she's a Nigerian. And so for those of you who are bashing Nigerians, some Nigerians are good people. Mm -hmm. So she looked at the x-ray and realized that there was a small fracture somewhere. Mm -hmm. They called this doctor again, before he came all apologetic mm -hmm. and did what he had to do. Put the POP on and all that. So some, some doctors are doing well, some of the doctors are not doing well. Is it possible that in Aibe's case, mm. He had this kidney problem mm. where both kidneys are gone because of the medication he was on for his hypertension. Okay, so what I'd rather say is that, like we've said, hypertension is one of the very common causes of kidney disease. Mm. Now, as you heard him, he had hypertension. Mm. He knew he had hypertension. Mm. He was going for his hypertension, uh, hypertensive medication, mm. but the blood pressure was not controlled. Okay. So, it is not enough to know you have hypertension. Make sure the blood pressure is controlled. It's controlled because we have this rule of third that a third of people are not even aware they have hypertension a third are who are aware are not even taking medications mm. and a third who are taking medications are not getting their blood pressures controlled Control. so meaning that you need to be in that third who are probably getting things done appropriately because if that is not the case you will still be taking the medications but i'm afraid the kidneys will be in trouble and then eventually you're going to get kidney disease now sometimes what is difficult to tell and i'm now adding another twist is that for all we know what was showing as hypertension in ayabas situation was already a sign of the kidney disease so i'll come with in with a question shortly okay but you know these young guys who just you know <laughs> Uh, let me keep my word. Okay, th these young guys I'm working with here, I should keep telling you, they go on to Facebook. Yeah. And, 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 and they're doing this because they love you. They yeah, just want you, you to appreciate what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. um, if you're listening to us, you haven't gone on to um, our Facebook live stream yet, just do that for me. And then you get to see Mr. Aiba some four or five years ago when all was well with him, when he, where he didn't have any kidney problem. And then you get to see him again now when his two kidneys are all gone and his... Um, on dialysis it's on our facebook live stream as we speak <laughs> so you 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 were telling us doc mm. dr Edward, in yeah. the tunnel, you're telling us about you know the the things that we need to do to prevent it when we do them mm. how do we know that it's going to work for us or not okay so in fact in the first place normally when i talk to people about kidney disease mm. i go like as you are listening to me now mm. you don't even know what percentage, if you still remember the mobile phone thing I'm talking the about, battery thing, yeah. the battery thing, How, whatever age you are, 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, the question is, what percentage of your kidney is still functioning? Because you might be listening to me now, trust me, you are probably doing 60%, you might be doing 35%, but you are fine. And when I talk about this, I always give the example of a mate of mine, KNUST, just here, we... 2012, 2013, we're doing our MBA. We started off with this gentleman in my class. Second year, then I noted, it was an evening classes, you know, so we, we all come in tired, you know, and so he was complaining that he was always tired. So I just looked under his conjunctiva eye and I realized he was pale. And that was the only clue. Tiredness and he was pale. And I was like, no, 
do you have hypertension? I brought him to Confanochi. We checked his blood pressure. It was high. We did the test. Apparently, his kidney functions were had dropped to about 5%. That was, that was, that was what is, was left. Well, that was what was left. Working for him. Before we could finish the program, two-year program, the gentleman, um, unfortunately, died. So, my next question yes. is this. Symptoms. So, yes, you have 100% kidney when you're born. True. That is the norm for the norm. True. People are, others are born with some kidney diseases. True. So, for a normal human being, you're born with the two kidneys. Mm. That are the bean-shaped like thing we often hear, where, of course, it helps to clean the toxic from the body by way of urinating. And you're saying that as we live our lives, certain things happen. It could be infection, it could be whatever, that is destroying the kidney. Mm. And so we, we start losing the kidney. Yeah. And you can lose a kidney size that one whole kidney can be lost. Yeah. And you're still fine. Okay. F- functioning like, you know, everything, you know, when you were born. Yeah. And then the other one, you lose about half of it or even above half of it and you're still fine. Are there no signs or symptoms that tells you, that, listen, there's something going wrong, even when you haven't gone to check? I'm asking this based on what you just told us about your friend. I love Tightness. this question. <laughs> you love this question. I love this question. So, <laughs> of course, <laughs> generally, if you are waiting for symptoms of for your kidney disease, I'm sorry to disappoint you. By the time you get the first symptom, like the colleague of mine in MBA, you probably would have been hanging around 5% function of your kidney. So, that is why I say, let's not wait for those symptoms. Now, Dave, when we are born, we are born with a million nephrons, those small, small parts of the kidney that makes us work. One million here, one million there. With each passing day, as you are starving yourself of water, you get a knock. As you take that alcohol binge, you get a knock. As you take that, in quote, herbal concoction, you get a knock. As you develop maybe hypertension, you are getting knocks. As you probably, so all these things eventually culminate in the fact that each day your functions are going off you might not know because the rest of whatever is left with is taking very good care of you now when it gets tired that's how i use it if it gets tired to the point that now i am struggling to take care of you that is when we begin to see the symptoms what are the symptoms and the symptoms like i said because your kidneys help you to make blood Mm. helps the body to make blood one of the things we notice that now every day you are weak you are tired you couldn't walk like you used to they check, doctors are, ah, why is it that your HB is dropped to like 8 when it's supposed to be like 13, 14? And sometimes they look for, you're not bleeding, you're not, ah, you're, we don't, we're not clear why you're losing it. Check the kidneys. Now, the other thing is that you might see that your feet are swollen. You wake up in the morning, your feet are swollen. You press, it dips. You wake up in the morning, in and around your, eye, your face, around your eye, it's swollen. But that most people don't see because by the time you are dressed and, you know, shattered and ready to go to work, it disappears to your feet. And now you put your socks on your feet so nobody sees it. But you see it yourself. When you get there, then it means that we are in trouble. Okay, so let's not get there. And one of the things, again, is the issue of hypertension. And that's why I said, some you see a 24-year-old, a 30-year-old who is hypertensive. Dave, if you're a doctor, you are a, a, a friend to that person, it shouldn't end there that, oh, we don't need so so go and take medication. <laughs> no. It's like, why do you have hypertension at age 30? Do your parents have it? Does somebody else have it? Or is there some kidney disease? Because that hypertension, one of the things your kidney does for you is, Dave, to ensure that your blood pressure is always where it needs to be. Regulated. It regulates it. Okay. So now, if you can't regulate it, I try to find out, ah, why is it that Dave cannot regulate his blood pressure? Since I know the kidney has a major function to play mm. in regulating your blood pressure, mm. then I need to check your kidneys. So I've seen people, the only thing, just like I have, that is letting us, mm, there might be something going on, it's hypertension. So um, we'll, talk about, <laughs> we'll talk about the treatment <laughs> shortly. But before then, let me, let me speak to Ayiba again. Mm. Ayiba, how is life like for you? Both kidneys are not working. Like you said before, you used to take what five hundred liters of water, four bottles of yeah. the five hundred liter uh, well, water. One point five. One point five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A day. Now you take what? Five hundred mil. Five hundred mil. At most. One bottle a day. At most. Yeah. A day. How's life like for you? I mean, knowing very well the things you used to do just to keep yourself healthy, <laughs> and now it's turned out like this. How's life like for you? It's actually difficult. I'll have to say, it's just by His grace that we are alive today. Mm. 
one, most of the food that you can eat, you have also asked not to eat. Like what? What, what was your favorite food? Um, mine was rice, yam, plantain. Oh, but you can still eat rice, or they say don't eat rice. Oh, let, let me get there. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> okay. We can't take much of the carbohydrates mm. because they will turn into sugar mm. for us. Mm. Mm. So that is where my issue is now. Moreover, we can't take most of the greens, most of the yellows. The greens are what? The, uh, the, 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 the vegetables? The vegetables. Ah, but the vegetables, vegetables are supposed to protect the kidney. Okay. So yeah, the kidney is diseased. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it is diseased, <laughs> you need more vegetables to make it healthy. Because of the elements that we have in these greens, yeah. like the phosphorus, mm. the uh, potassium. potassium. Then, they kill, then they kill the kidney in the first place. If they cannot re resurrect the kidney, <laughs> then the potassiums and the phosphorus and they kill the, they kill the kidney the first place. And I don't get it. If fruits, fruits are good for the human yeah. body, if yeah. vegetables are good for the human body, yeah. and now the person has a kidney problem and you're saying don't eat, eat those things. With, yeah. oh, you know, they are, they, have, they are effects. They have these itching effects on us. <laughs> and then when they get into the blood too much too, and without the consistent dialysis, you can't stand it. So that, that is the issue now. <laughs> so we and the uh, dietitians are always fighting. Mm. Because now the thing is not even working properly. So let me eat and become so I didn't strong. Understand. Unfortunately, I say we, so. But you can't do it. You'll be itching and the whole body will become sore. Wow. So and, and it's quite expensive. We shall be talking about the dialysis mm. thing. Yeah. And the medications that go along with it. And so for those of you who think that we're whole... Uh, man, 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 man is born once and dies, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Charlie, it's not that easy. Um, but I, I recall some months ago, I think six, six months ago, when yeah. we had this conversation, I asked you this question. So you're a human being. Now you, you're not functioning like you used to. You're not as strong as you used to. Certainly. You cannot walk briskly like you used to. Yeah. You cannot yeah. walk long distances like you used to. Yeah. Are you able to have sex like you used to? I'll take an answer. <laughs> oh, I'll answer you. I know you will. I'll take an answer when we return from this very break. When we return from this very break. Thank you so much. <laughs> you see, today, today, there are plenty of one night on the market.
Um, you know, we have Mr. Ayiba with us. Mr. Ayiba is um, a gentleman who unfortunately has lost both kidneys. Now, I know some of you, when you hear that you have lost even one, <laughs> you start crying and, and wailing and, 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 and thinking that if you fear, <laughs> he has lost both kidneys. But by grace, he's healed and hearty and he's well. The only thing is that things that he used to do some years ago, he's not able to do them as we speak. Now, we, we have put up his picture on our Facebook live stream. We've done this with his permission because to him, we need to save as many people out there, many lives as possible. So, by grace, you are well. You close from work, you go hang out with boys, boys, you do all the crazy things, you chill. For how long do you think your kidneys will serve you? For those of you who, you know, are women, we're told that infections can also cause a problem. So, if you go and use your office washroom or you go use a hotel's washroom or you go to a conference and use a washroom Charlie be mindful I often say why don't women just put a small bottle of Dettol in their bag <laughs> so when you get to a washroom just you know disinfect the water just say in the name of Jesus and then drop some water in there <laughs> some, some, some Dettol in the water so at least if you sit on it and you're doing your thing you know you're kind of safe somewhat <laughs> because infections can also cause a problem for your kidneys for those of you who are diabetic or hypertensive well you're also at risk of having kidney problems but in Ayiba's case, it had to do with hypertension. Hmm. Now, Ayiba, I know some of the listeners will be wondering whether my, I'll get an answer to my question I asked about you and sex. But we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll give you the answer. We'll give you that answer. But, so let's talk about treatment. This is not curable, is it? No. So let's talk about treatment. What is treatment modalities like? Will you pick that? No, Elliot. Yeah. No. So, yeah, I thought we were with. Uh, no, I'm Ayaba. with you. Okay. I'm with you. So, generally, um, if we say the kidneys are failed, mm. then our options are to get you a new kidney. In fact, if you look for cure, that is what we call cure. Mm. It's just like your car parts gone bad, so you need a new engine or mm. a new carburetor. Mm. I mean, that is basically how it works. Mm. But before that is done, because you come in very sick. So we can't just carry you and put a new kidney in you. We need to make sure you are stable. And that is why you need to be on dialysis for as long as you are waiting for your yeah, donor. donor. And like you started yes. in your preamble, um, that is normally what happens. Because the difficulty, most people think it's the cost. And that is the problem. I'm here to let people know. Sometimes it's not the cost per se. Mm. Because I have patients who have money. But the point is that they are not getting the kidney. Hmm. So it's not like something you can go to KJT or uh, whatever, Swami, and then just, oh, I need to buy a kidney. And there are ethical issues, which hopefully I'll address, that you can't talk to somebody. You know what? I need one of your kidneys, and I'll buy you, you a car. You come to a radio station and say, I'm going to uh, Ex advertise and exactly. have a mansion for somebody who gives me one who kidney. Who gives me one kidney. I mean, very, very unethical. So th those are the issues. But that is the best for you. And I'm happy that you have an example of somebody whose kidneys lasted beyond 15 years. Mm -hmm. Indeed. When we do the transplant, we don't tell you, okay, you're going to live five years. The idea is that we actually hope you're going to do 25 and beyond. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what the numbers are, we know averagely, depending on whether you are getting it from a living person or probably from somebody who is dead. And so why don't you go to the morgue and <laughs> take all the kidneys and then store them in the refrigerator or somewhere and then when people need it, you just give it. Very good question. Gana Very good service. question. Gana the Gana point service. is that no. when you die, like when there is an, or not like you die, I mean, when there's an accident. <laughs> oh, I will die. One day, one day, one day I'll die. What's the big <laughs> Well, let's say there's a mass accident. Mm -hmm. Ideally, if we are able to get there early, okay, you know somebody is brain dead and all, get the kidney, but you need to keep the kidney alive. To keep it. And that is what we don't have structures to be able to do. But in other places, we have the structures. Other places do. So, and that is why people are getting their life saved because the structures are there. We try to take you, make sure you, you are brain, if you are brain dead and all ad, other organs are working, they can just pick all these organs and then give it to other yeah, people. So then right. at least exactly. Mm. So that is ideally what should be the situation. But in our situation, most of the times it has to come from somebody who is living. And I'm happy to know. In fact, when you started off your preamble, I actually thought you were going to say something bad about the donor in the sense that he developed kidney disease. No. Which um, I want most people to know that you can live so well on one kidney. And I'm happy that there was something else that killed that gentleman. But ideally, if you take care of yourself, that one kidney is good enough for you. Oh, but many people are scared. Very. Many people are scared. I know. And that is why I'm using your medium mm. to explain to people that mm. they need not okay. be scared. All right. So on Facebook, Opoku says, 
I'm even shocked, Uncle David. Hmm. God help us in this earth. You should be on this earth. Reduce it from four to one to one. You really educate me every day. And he says, thank you. Well, thank you, Opoku, for doing the listening every day. Tell your friends and relations about Love Nice Up and Five and, of course, The Diary. Um, Eve Lynn Sack is uh, crying. I don't know. That's uh, the emoji I see here. I don't know why. Benjamin Asumidu Jr. says, Good to hear the man with kidney problem sharing his story with us. Well, don't let it just be a story he's sharing. Let it be something you've heard, something positive that you're also going to live by and tell other people about it. My Mr. Wab Blossom says, Yeah, I'm here. I'm glad you're there. Pato of Pato Laundry. He says, We, we, we even we're even afraid to eat or drink. Lord have mercy on us. Pato, shall I enough of you? <laughs> enough of you. Yeah. Enough of you. So, so if the kidneys are gone and you don't have mm. a donor, mm. like his, in his case, mm. you have to live on dialysis you have forever. To. And that is actually very tough. I have a feeling he'll be in the best position to explain uh, what he's going He says to. it's tough. If, is it painful? Um, for the first two days, yes. Because first be two days of what? Of your dialysis. It will be painful. There, there, are, there are instructions that they've done for mm. you to go through the process. Okay. So it's a little painful. After that, you are okay. But what I'll say is very expensive. Yeah. How expensive is very expensive? Um, now, I think we are paying 240 cities per section. How many sessions do you go for? Uh, I go for two. When I have one, I'll go for three. So a I day, a week, a, a week. week. Ideally, you need three a week. I need so three a week. Three times three. a week. Yes. So 240 times three. Yeah. A week. A week. So that kingdom come. And then that's not all. You also take some injections hmm. for your blood because you can't make your own blood. So that is also very expensive. A week, a day treatment, I take, I think, three injections. I'm on 10,000 IU. So I have to take about, this is about 180 Ghana cities times three per section. So so in a week, how much do you spend? The 21. 21 what? 21 Ghana cities. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me give you. So no. if I go for three sections, mm -hmm. uh -huh. let me give you the total amount, including my. But it should be off head. It should yeah. be off the cuff. Uh, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried, worried because you, you, do, you go through the every week. I'm worried. <laughs> you should be able to just send me off the cuff. So at the, at the end of the month, I think it's 9,360. Every month, 9,300. Yes. 9, yeah, if I'm able to go for three sections and I take all the injections. The salary in Lusa, how? 9,300, which is 93,600,000 old Ghana cities. Ha! Huh. I'm not joking here. And that, that excludes my labs, my yeah. scans, my medication. So let's say so shooting to 10,000. So it, it will be more than that. Yeah. You know, and we take life for granted. God has blessed us with a, a beautiful life. We take things for what, granted. What I would say we, here, we, we live recklessly one, sometimes. The agric ministry, the environmental ministry, they all has to come in. Hmm. Because what, I, what we are eating now is all chemicals. With your gardeners, your tomatoes, your whatever, your whatever. <laughs> So we have to go back to our uh, back farming. Yeah. It's, it's well, um, Afua Kwajiman says, I know this man, Akunta. <laughs> That's how he calls you. <laughs> and Anastasia Yankee says, Sami, I'm listening to you. Who is Sami here? That's my, my yeah. the one yeah. I follow. My okay, that's, okay, your sister. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 Anastasia. That's around um, the who had it towards Chachi Pram Sestra. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just join us now on 03220 if you have any 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 contribution to make, maybe you've learned something. Maybe there's a question you want to ask. Course, Alex. Just just give us a call on zero three two two zero eight three five nine six. I'd love to hear from you. And 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 hmm. God have mercy. That's all I'll say for now. Hi. Good afternoon. God will surely have mercy on us. Hey, Pato, welcome. Let's hear you, Pato. Hmm. Nothing we get. We do nothing we get. So if this kind of disease can attack us far there. This is going to be something different. But um, I'm happy that we have our brother or our father in the studio to, I mean, um, educate us about this kidney issue. So, and we are all praying for him to be okay. And we know, um, as we have a miracle God, a miracle will surely happen in his life. And he's going to get better, stronger, I'm telling you, Dave. But mm -hmm. um, we, have, we have really learned a lot to me. You should be careful about what we eat, what we what you drink. But this, I've been thinking about these things. Ah, Dave, you see this mad people walking around. Anything that they found on the street, they will be eating it, drinking from the gutter. But you will never hear them say, but they need any kidney, I say. Dave, I've been thinking about these things, oh. 
Because we, we say we do take care of ourselves. We buy things from the market at the right places. We keep them at the clean places. But I still do. I have been phobia and I said, and now I'm going to go to the bathroom and pay for more. <laughs> well, that's Fatou there. Good afternoon to you, Fatou. Thank you so much. The phone lines are still activated. I, I pray that we've all learned a thing or two. I pray that we'll live right and, and protect our kidneys. Uh, um, but if you can call us and then we'll hear from you. I mean, I know Dr. Elliot uh, Tano would ask, answer that question. Why the madmen drink all the things they drink, eat all the things they do, and their kidneys are still intact? Hi, good afternoon. Hello? 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 Good afternoon. Yes, sir. What's your name? Good bless you. All right. I'll thank you for the good work you are doing. And I'll say thank you to your resources and as well as the gentleman who is there to, um, I must say, use his life to educate other people. From, uh, being in the condition he is now, uh, he's really learned a lot. And I have a question for your resources. Um, my question is that anytime I'm on the edge of urinating and uh, a chance is not there for me to do so, I feel some pain at my lower back where I suspect my kidneys are attached. Uh, All right, Pope, he's going to give you an answer shortly. Thank you very much. Hello, um, Philip, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dave. How's your family? Charlie Gray, so he's, he's, he's keeping us. Let's hear you, Philip. Dave, we, 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 we are all praying for the man's you know, health. I know the good Lord is going to you know, help him get back his life. Because he's spending so much. And we pray that the Minister of Food and Agriculture, as he's saying, would look through the food we eat and every other thing. Because we are all at risk. We don't know what to eat and what not to eat. So we are praying to the Almighty God to save us. Mm. Life. I hear you, Philip. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. And um, farmers, because yeah. you want to make money, you do some crazy stuff that puts us all at risk, don't you? Charlie, God is watching you too. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? My name is Isaac. Isaac, welcome, uh, boss. Let's hear you, Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Um, you know, this kind of condition uh, being caused by some of the kind of food that we're taking. So I'll encourage and the listeners to take in more organic food. The, you know, this time around, we have genetic modified food around, and we think that is the best, and it is killing us. So we should take note of that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. That was um, Isaac there. Let me speak to Chris. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my boss. Let's Don't hear you. Fine. Yes, I am, Chris. Let's hear you. Good, good. Um, we have indeed imbibed and assimilated um, the discussion and there's an eye opener to us so we should be careful about what we take and all that but you are what we just be careful about these things we buy emoji tools and all that and this i believe that when we when we are careful and we to god inshallah god will enhance our life fun thank you thank you very much chris uh, let me speak to godfrey good afternoon sir yeah good afternoon Dave. welcome boss let's hear you yeah uh, Dave, if you are somebody who drinks a lot of water and urinate a lot uh, does it have the potential to overwork the kidney? And and then what what is the surest sign that one is uh, having a kidney problem uh, in a part of the world where we hardly go for checkup? Sunday, you know, was it Sunday? But now kidney is about two percent. It is all train, all train sign part of the check. So who 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 say? In the hospital, in them. I say men train hospital. And I just said, what's that checkup? Mom, what's that? Uh, we'll yeah, regular yeah. checkups. Again, sir, what's that? 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 Hello, Dave. Yeah. No, you want to know how much the machine is, the dialysis machine costs? Yes. So I, I, I've been, like, thinking, why is it that we don't have every single hospital having one? Ah. So that's Ghana, 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 when you go to, when you go to places where you MRI machine, how many do we even have? <laughs> CT scan machines in the hospitals. I want to know the cost. Okay.